Okay, so we saw Danny performing well, and uh, we will uh, ask uh, Tanvi first of all, what are all the good manners that Tanvi observed really in Daniel? Tanvi, come on. So tell me, where did you find uh, Daniel well mannered, and can you explain? While he was asking you the request that we need to build, will build some sports. Okay. Did uh, you ever listen, Danny, using the word please anywhere? Did you observe? Angel, did you observe Danny using the word please? Did you observe your own self using the word please? No, nah, right. Okay, fine. That's okay. Right, point to be noted. We'll, we'll speak about that in a way. Okay, so Danny finished, Mitra finished, Tanvi finished. Now, Angel, a small change in the script. I will go to Angel's place because Angel is much more important person than me. So, uh, she will sit here and Mitra will give her her phone and she will use it as a mic. And uh, let us see, while answering my question, let us see how far Angel is well mannered, and then we will take a call. Angel, ready? You'll just answer my questions, okay? All right? Okay. All right. Come. All the best. Yeah, come in. Look into the camera. You see, now you're standing like this. Ah, right, okay. Fine. This way, this way. Looking at me. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Good morning, madam. Are you Ms. Angel? Yes. By any chance, you are studying the fourth grade in Vibgyar High Secondary School? Yes. Why didn't you attend school for four days, madam? Yes, My name is Madam. And I am the executive officer in the school. My job? is to humbly go to the students who are taken leave and ask them the reasons for not coming to the school. And uh, in the list prepared, you are on the top of the list, man. And the school considers you as a very important person, man. That's the only reason, instead of giving a phone call, I myself am here and uh, you are standing like a Barbie. I'm standing like a barbarian. So it's a meeting between Barbie and barbarian. So could you please give me a proper answer, madam? I went to Chennai. Chennai? Did you visit the beach in Chennai? Yeah. Did you visit Dhanvi's house in Chennai? Then why did you Travel all the way to Chennai. For visa. What? Visa. US visa. Oh, visa. Madam, are you going to the US? <laughs> For vacation. Oh, vacation. Bunking the school from here. <laughs> and you're going for vacation. Fantastic, madam. You are a very good strategist. You attended the visa interview in the immigration office. What questions did they ask, madam? Were you dancing like this there also? Passport, they ask for passport. Yes. I see. Uh, one common question that is asked in the immigration office is they would have asked you, why do you go to Chennai? And what was your answer for that? I would go to US. Uh, why, do you, why would you go to US? You see, that's why I call myself barbarian. I forget things. Excuse me, sir. Tanvi? Yes, Tanvi. Sir, your voice is echoing, sir. Correct, correct. I understand. Because 
Yeah, because I'm using two mics here. Now it should be clear, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because I have given a mic to Tanvi and I'm using my mic. So two mics, that's the only reason. That's a challenge in the online and live class. So. Okay, sir. So I cannot speak parallelly. You can answer my question because Tanvi has to listen to your answer. Okay. My question is very simple. What were your answers in the immigration office interview? Yeah. I was asking, why did you go? Why did you go to US, and what are all the answers you gave in the immigration office? We went to US because my father had to work. Any other point you would like to tell us, ma'am? Mm. I think. Mm. What should I say to the principal as to when you will return to the school, ma'am? I'll come tomorrow. You'll come tomorrow? So kind of. You saved my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and talk to the principal. Thank you, ma'am. Well done, madam. Good job, Angel. Well done, Angel. Angel tried her part. And uh, before this, Angel told frankly that she's not having any idea, just like Tanvi, Daniel, and Mitra did. So I had to change this in this way. But however, Angel did her good part. Good job, Angel. So Tanvi, we will start with you. Tell us where exactly you found Angel very polite. I mean, you are in the fifth grade and she's in the fourth grade. You're much similar to you, although there is only a gap of one year between both of you. So uh, where do you think Angel, as a friend, has been good-mannered and well-mannered? She was so frank to you, sir. Yeah, that's correct. She was very frank to me. Okay, right. Good job. Thank you. What do you think, Danny? You're taking so much of time to appreciate your sister. She had a calm voice. She had a calm voice. She's a very important person. All the very important persons, the VIPs will always have only calm and husky voice. How about you? So she was very humble uh, uh, when you kept asking questions. So she did not even ask you specific questions. So she was very humble during the process. Like when you ask when you will return back, or uh, what are the questions, what are the answers you gave during the immigration, uh, when they asked uh, uh, questions during the immigration process. Okay. Right. Well then, all the four of you, it's, it, it took almost about 30 minutes for this entire exercise to complete. Um, now comes the important learning part, my dear uh, girls and uh, Danny. I used to say boys and Mitra, but right now it is girls and Danny. Three girls and one, student, one, one boy student. Now come, uh, now, now, now just see these four situations. Situation number one, one student coming and complaining about the coaching center. Situation number two, one student asking for career guidance. Situation number three, one student coming and asking for more sports and recreation facilities. Situation number four, one student is uh, given a gentle inquiry as to why she did not come to the school. Now, in all these four uh, environments, what are all the good manner or well-mannered tag words that can be used? When I say tag words, what I mean is, please, number one tag word, good mannered tag word, Thank you. Number two, good mannered tag, tag word. Using the salutation like sir, madam, mister. This is called as a salutation. Okay, right? So let's say, for example, if I ask uh, Angel to do a task and if I'm, I'm, I'm showing some kindness to Angel, Angel does not only thank me, she also uses the salutation. Thank you, sir. Instead of saying just plain thank you, thank you, sir. Okay? So please, thank you, may I, likewise. These are all sample tag words. Now I want all of you four to analyze the situation 
and tell me what are all the good manner or well mannered tag words that can be used here. We will go one by one. Three magic words. Sir. Three magic words. What are those three magic words? Sorry and thank you. Please, I'm sorry and thank you. Okay. Then I request you. Okay, right. Keep thinking. I'll come back to you, Danny. Correct. Correct. Right. When you when you wanna um meet someone important, you always to go first. Yeah, correct. To, to get that permission. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think. I'll come back to you. Angel, would you like to say something? About, I mean, in addition to what Mitra and Danny have said, what are the words that can be used so that you are proving to the others that you are a well-mannered girl? Correct. Absolutely. That's a very important point. Say sorry immediately when you make some errors. Okay, then. Thank you. Correct. If anybody does the help, you should immediately say thank you. Any other points, Angel? Okay. That's it. Keep thinking. If something props up, immediately tell. Okay. A couple of points from Danny, a couple of points from Mitra, and a couple of points from our Angel. Now, what are the points? The stun we have. Come on, Tanvi. What are all the? Well, we are, well, we are asking a request to you. We need to use may I, please. Correct. Correct. And we need to be very humble while talking to a government officer, sir. Yes, yes, that's a very important point. Humble. Two people use the word. One Mitra used the word humble and. You have said humble. Okay, right. Now. And we need to use sad, madam, like salutation works, sir. We need to use sir or madam salutation. Okay, fine. Right. That's good. Okay. Thank you, Tandi. That's really a good answer. Now, going forward in the next 10 days, let us take a 10-day challenge. I want eight things and i want all of you to note these eight things down so that you will use this for the next 10 days and see how you are good in people network okay right let's say journal Here. so i'm not going to say anything new other than what you people said but just small additions first one for uh, better reference to Tanvi alone, I will put things in the chat box also. The first one is, may I ask? May I ask? It's a very good expression. And uh, this expression is specifically meant when you're asking something. Let's say, for example, you saw Mitra's case where Mitra enters into the student service center officer's home. And first she should check if the student service center officer is free or not. So, in the expression, Mitra use Panla. Sir, are you free? May I ask? Sir, free are king la. Badilaga. Free are king la na kekla. Okay? Professional and humble way of speaking. Sir, are you free, may I ask? Okay, right? Example number two. When I say, like, take the example of Danny. Danny said, sir, arrange from sports facilities. And I say, no, Danny, it's not going to be possible for the next five or six months. That's why Danny gave the explanation. Yes, sir. Yeah, mudiyadu. Apadim, Danny can. Why, sir? Why not? It's possible. There, Danny can use it. How Danny can use this word? Sir, may I ask the reason? 
yeah that's also one expression another expression is why sir may i ask why sir may i ask okay sir but i have doubt sir yeah, yeah. this is actually the polite and the deepest polite way of asking what the representation you are speaking about is the specific way of connotation expression in grammar this is not connotation expression this is expressing the politeness so here you are using the may I ask in the suffix way instead of the prefix way okay right i ask your name you say mitra and after 10 minutes uh what's your name may I ask okay na patru nimisham na marandita adu enoda fault appo na ungitta vandu romba polite ah kekku ungu pera enna ipo na marudi kekkalama adha okay right second expression as mitra danny tanvi and of course uh, our angel mentioned the usage of the words the following four words please thank you sorry excuse me and another one is shall i please thank you sorry excuse me and shall i or may i shall i abdingirada vittirukenga adu romba rare case but please please enga enga la use pannirpa let us come to tanvi's example where she seek to some career guidance and uh, the career guidance counselor said well miss tanvi neenga ipo da anjam class padikireenga ipo edhukku plus 2 pathi yosikkeenga avaru kekkar appo tanvi eppadi solla avana i'm really sorry sir could you please explain about the future even more clearly enak theriyudha na 5th standard dhan padikiren na i'm really sorry for being over smart but could you please so could you please okay right angel node case la eppadi use pannirukala nu solli keta principal enna anuchaaru and principal asked you why you did not come to the school here angel should say well please inform the principal that i went to chennai okay angel please inform to the principal that i went to chennai coming back to mitra's case mitra could have expressed sir please try to hurry this up because we only have 4 or 5 months left coming back to danny's case danny would say well mr danny i am not going to do it because it's huge budget sir please arrange for more budget okay right please thank you sorry excuse me and shall i and uh, thank you as you know it's very default sorry you know where that to be done the third expression greet at welcome and greet at leaving greet angel greet at welcome i'm sorry greet at welcome and greet at leaving greet at welcome and greet at leaving good morning sir hello sir hello madam how are you madam never ever use the word ma'am there is no expression called as ma'am ma'am is an expression that could be used on a very informal way one madam is known for you and uh, it's been a while since you have known you can use the word ma'am okay but madam is a clear cut expression okay right one scientist wrote to the international conference dear sirs and ma'am his scientific explanation on a theory was completely rejected because he was considered to be a impolite person so madam all right okay so good evening madam hello madam good evening sir hello sir greet at welcoming and when you are leaving a place when you are leaving the room when you are leaving the conference when you are leaving the classroom when you are leaving the office thank you or i would take leave or i shall get going thank you so much but thank you i would take leave you know so no thank you i would take leave 
ரொம்ப நன்றி சார் நான் கிளம்புறேன் சார் ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் தேங்க் யூ இஸ் ஃபைன் பட் குட் ஃபார்மல் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் இஸ் தேங்க் யூ ஐ வுட் டேக் லீவ் தேங்க் யூ சார் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு டேக் லீவ் தேங்க் யூ மேடம் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு டேக் லீவ் அண்டர்ஸ்ட் ஆஞ்சல் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் This is a very interesting one and my personal favorite. I would like to appreciate. I would like to appreciate. I would like to appreciate. You want a reference? I would like to appreciate. This good-mannered statement is like, let's say for example, if Tanvi wants to appreciate Angel, so i would like to appreciate angel for being very very calm sir i would like to appreciate mitra ka for being very expressive sir i would like to appreciate daniel anna for uh, being uh, good in pronunciation likewise i would like to appreciate for this fourth expression it needn't necessarily be the case of you being the senior nee romba periya aala irukonu ngra avasiyam illai nee chinna ponna irukalam nee chinna payana irukalam நீ பெரியவங்களை கூட ஐ வுட் லைக் டு அப்ரிஷியேட் யுவர் ஜெஷர் அங்கிள் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு அப்ரிஷியேட் யுவர் ஸ்பீச் அங்கிள் அப்ரிசியேஷன் கேன் பி ஃப்ரம் எனி பட் இட் டசன் மீன் தட் யூ ஹேவ் டு பி எஸ் நவ் லெட்ஸ் மூவ் ஆன் டு திஃப்த் கைண்ட் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் அவர் குட் அண்ட் வெல் மேனர்ட் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் தட் இஸ் நீடட் ஃபார் அ ப்ரீ டீன் ஆர் அ டீனேஜ் speak in this way i would like to share or express i would like to share or express i would like to share or express yes sir there is a conflict between angel and thandi or chinna or misunderstanding and the misunderstanding la angel vandu thandi kitta solra appadi You see, Tanvi, I would like to share something about you. Something happened this morning at 10 o'clock. You see, Tanvi, I would like to express my feelings to you. Tanvi asks, about what? About something that happened this morning at 10 o'clock. So here, you are not offending the person. Yes, of course, you are going to give the explanation, but still, what you are saying, you are very, very polite. Okay, right? So I would like to appreciate it. அது நல்ல விஷயம் நீ சொல்றதா இருந்தா நீ ஈவன் கிரிட்டிசைஸ் பண்றதா இருந்தா கூட ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஷேர் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் வித் யூ கேன் ஐ அப்படிட்டு ஓகே சிக்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஆர் சிக்ஸ் வெல் மேனர்ட் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் இட்ஸ் कॉल्ड அஸ் தி யு மேஜிக் தி யு மேஜிக் what do you mean by the you match it is a very good manner to put the second person always of the friend you please carry on after you you tell about yourself yeah why don't you start or the first first meet pandring you give him the hand shake hand and say that tell me about you ungala pathi solunga so always put the second person at the up that is the you magic okay like danny meets me for the first yeah danny meets me for the first time and danny shakes hand on a very warm basis and he looks into my eye and says sir tell about you where are you coming from i feel very special because there danny uses the time for knowing about me instead of knowing instead of making me know about him that's the uh, sixth one seventh one just like the you magic i am afraid i have to i am afraid i have to this is a very important polite expression when you are trying to express something negative mitra submits an assignment paper to me 
and i find a lot of good things in the assignment paper and i appreciate her and i'm awarding marks 80 marks out of 100 but suddenly i am witnessing some mistakes in the assignment paper and i decide to cut down 10 marks out of the 80 marks i awarded already so mitra i'm really sorry i have found some mistakes in your answer sheets so then mitra asks sir are you going to reduce marks for it then i would say this statement what i would say I'm I have I, yes mitra i'm afraid i have to reduce marks i'm really sorry I've been solid at the couple of the 10 marks. Mitra will feel a little bit comfortable. Okay, right. So, sir was very polite to me. I'm afraid I have to. Danny and uh, Angel are very good friends for a change instead of being brother and sister. And uh, Angel says, look, let us go to the movie. Danny says, well, really, sorry, I cannot join you for the movie. So now Angel says, do you mean to say that you are leaving now? You're going home now? Now Danny says, well, Angel, I'm afraid. I have to leave now. And that's why afraid. I'm 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 afraid. It's a beautiful expression, I tell you. If you know all teenagers, you know all the teenagers. But you don't know anything. School is a uniform. You don't have to come. You don't have to come. teacher apatha wish pandradilla periyungala apatha mari adu kudukkuradilla so i am afraid i have to like uh, tanvi is uh, trying to finish an assignment but uh, she is not able to finish the assignment little girl one in the fifth grade so tanvi's mom is asking tanvi you mean to say that you are going to be awake until 10:30 in the night for finishing the assignment mother or mom i am afraid i have to be awake till 10:30 abdin sonna it's a polite way ama ma kandipa senji ana vera vali okay let's take a quick recap shall we right mitra nice loud and clear what's the first expression okay jani loud and clear what's the second one thank you you did not write it Angel, what's the third one? Greed at welcome and greet when you are leaving. Good job. Tanvi, what's four and five? Tanvi, are you speaking? What's four and five? Come on. Yes, sir. I would like to appreciate. Correct. And what I is the fifth one, Tanvi? I would like to express. Correct. Okay. Right. Thank you. Now let's come down to the last one, the eighth one that I mentioned. Sorry. Yeah, six on. I did not. Yeah, we are finishing. We are finishing. The last, and by no means the least. Very important one. We always use this expression in the written format. in the written communication i would like to humbly i would like to humbly i would like to humbly sir i would like to humbly mention that tomorrow i need leave from the class madam i would like to humbly express that i am not very well today therefore i am not attending today's meeting sir i would like to humbly let you know that our street lights are not glowing for the past 5 days sir i would like to humbly bring to your notice that 
we haven't received the money yet madam i would like to humbly request you to repeat the homework statements sir i would like to humbly bring to your notice that i did not listen to you properly okay good job so for the next 10 days or 15 days all you four people try to use these eight expressions including in the class just always have an eagle eye even in our sessions wherever possible you have to use these eight expressions these eight expressions will make you a very good leader it will make you a very good approachable person and most importantly it will make you as a very very good professional person okay so let's try that okay that's the end of today's class and uh, that is the module that i wanted to cover today and we are all very happy that thanvi did a great job on her first day's class give her a big hand please yeah thank you akka yeah so thanvi we are finishing the class you have any questions before we leave thanvi no sir okay thanvi tomorrow we are meeting at 3 o'clock today we got a little bit delayed because of varieties of reasons tanvi you need to make a presentation on a particular topic of your choice whatever the topic is all of you mitra a topic of your choice jani a topic of your choice angel a topic of your choice and tanvi a topic of your choice you have to just speak about your topic minimum 5 minutes okay, okay. maximum 10 that's okay. it come prepared for it tanvi uh, we will meet you tomorrow by 3 o'clock in the afternoon okay yes sir all right so this is money and sundaresan resting the case and the class is getting over and uh, live strong expect great things in life all right see you tomorrow right thank you so much and say bye to tanvi bye tanvi bye, bye. bye yeah bye see you. thank you sir thank you tanvi see you tomorrow yes sir